Hi, we're Mel and Jay. Together with our cat Benny, we're traveling the Baja Peninsula all the way to Cabo and back. This is our adventure in La Paz, where we swim with whale sharks and sea lions, visit one of Mexico's most beautiful beaches, and sample some of the local food. We are in La Paz and shockingly, we are not at a beach. We are in the back of an RV park dry camping here because we've got a bunch of errands to do. We've got to get water, we've got to do laundry, we've got to get groceries, we've got to go to Walmart and get a couple things. La Paz is a bigger city, so they have the big stores. So now is the time to stock up before we head out to the beach. We've come into the big city of La Paz today and we're kind of downtown on what's called the Malacan. And that's the boardwalk right along the waterfront. Let's go check it out. Yeah. So one of the reasons we are here in La Paz is to see these guys right behind us. These are whale sharks and we're hoping to do a little snorkel tour to go and see those. As you can see, the La Paz sign is quite busy. We might have to wait to get our turn in front of that. Wah, wah, wah. Oh no! It's closed. Opens at five. So there we go. We'll have to come back for dinner. Well, it took us about a half hour to find parking down here, so keep that in mind if you're coming down to the Strip at night in La Paz. So now we are headed to Mucho Gusto Taco in Mezcal Bar. So the La Paz sign is not quite as busy. All right, there we go. There we go. It is dark and we're heading to Mucho Gusto. It's not very busy yet. <laughs> Ah, so they do have more than just tacos. I'm hoping this will become apparent as the night goes on. Toxica. Toxica. Woo. That's really good. Oh, oh, the, the salt around the rim is spiced. And I got uh, Jamaica mead that they apparently make themselves. With local honey. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. I need to try it. Ooh. Really good. Okay, yep. who's gonna get it first? One, two, three. Aha! I win again. Special. See? Special. Mm -hmm. It's flaming. Ooh. Gracias, señor. Wow, that's putting off some decent heat. Oh yeah, so this is a mezcal, flaming mezcal cheese fondue, and it's got pieces of beef on top. Then we got the tlayuda, which is kind of like a Mexican pizza. And then Jay got a El Speciado taco, beef, chorizo, guacamole I'm seeing here, some cheese. Oh, I think it's out. Oh, it's done. Ready to eat. It's ready. <gasps> oh, they're blue. That's a lot of cheese. Yum. It's like, it's like Mexican grilled cheese. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna try and eat this like pizza. What do you think of it? Mmm. This taco is really good. So many different flavors. We like the mead so much that we bought a bottle. You can take it home and they bottle it right when you order it and label it and everything. How cool is that? So this is definitely the latest we've been out 
any time in Mexico. Absolutely. Past dark, almost 8 p.m. It's bustling, it's busy. We're loving it. There's still like as much traffic as when we arrived. Yeah. The little market is still on. There's like families out and lots of people. Like it's. Yeah, it feels very friendly, very safe. Yeah, it's like a bit of a fiesta kind of feeling. It's not even the weekend, it's like a Thursday night. I know. Yeah, La Paz is a really nice spot. Belandra Bay is about a half hour drive from downtown La Paz. It has a beautiful sandy beach with a huge, calm, shallow swimming area. Very shallow bay. There are some fish along the rocks close to the beach, but we recommend going further out, closer to the open water for better snorkeling. The very far side of Belandra Bay can be accessed by an easy hiking trail that starts a bit further north from the main entrance. Whale sharks are not whales, they are sharks, and the largest in the world, too. They roam the world's oceans eating plankton and often congregate in tropical waters where plankton are abundant. Their distribution is an indication of plankton numbers and overall health of our oceans. Our adventure today is being led by a marine biologist who has spent his entire career tracking and researching sharks. He told us about Mexico's strict rules of engagement with whale sharks, allowing a limited number of small, slow-moving boats into a very specific area for a short time each day. On top of that, only five people are allowed in the water with any given whale shark at a time. Well, we found the area where all the action is. Yeah, there's a fin right there, you see it? Oh, right here, right here! Yeah, right to the right. It's so exciting! You can still see him in the water. Yeah, it's still, it's like a little dark shadow. Yeah. Oh, there's the fin. Ooh! Oh, wow! Whale sharks are an endangered species being highly valued on international markets for their meat, fins, and oil. They often become victims of accidental capture in fishing gear and can be injured by boat propellers. The entire bay around La Paz is a marine protected area which benefits the whale sharks and other species who call this beautiful place home. Next we visited a sea lion colony with a beautiful coral reef. We rounded out the tour with ceviche on the beach. And then on the way back to the marina, Mel was excited to see a colony of blue-footed boobies. That was our whale shark tour that we did with La Paz divers. We had a great experience and would highly recommend them. 
And that concludes our first week in the La Paz area. Be sure to join us next week when we head about 40 minutes north to Tecalote Beach for some proper beach boondocking. We're in Balandro Bay. Balandra. We're in Balandro Bay. You don't want to be too tall walking through the construction zones. <laughs> A little date night here. And tomorrow it's off to the beach. We're going to the beach, people. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.